First, if I give you the context of the theme for the 12 sales trends for 2016 is about less is more. Hello, I've got Sue Barrett with me again. Welcome back, Sue. Thank you very much, John. Sue, I just read an article that you wrote on the 12 trends in sales for 2016. Mm -hmm. Great insight. Could you just share maybe the top th two or three of those of the audience? Sure, not a problem. I think first, if I give you the context of the theme for the 12 sales trends for 2016 is about less is more. There's so much information out there um, and people are sort of wrestling with all sorts of things. They're trying to make sense of uh, how we go about selling, how we go about communicating with each other and so on. So some of the trends that I'll highlight will actually um, be anchored by the context of less is more. Uh, and that's so important. We get overcome with so much coming at us all the time mm. that we really need to get to the real priorities, don't we? Yeah. And, and then that will drive our productivity and effectiveness. Absolutely. I think some of the highlights that we need to pay attention to for 2016 are the competitor zero, which is about indecision. And I'll explain more about that in one of our other posts. But uh, clients are overwhelmed with too much information, or people by and large, and we get this thing called the paradox of choice. So they then don't make any decision at all, which is very frustrating. Uh, I've just read uh, uh, The Challenger Customer, uh, which is really on that whole subject. Very, very important, and mm. you're right. It's, it's a classic issue. Uh, we can go invest very heavily in sales and not get a result because the customer decides not to decide. Well, that's right. One of the other trends that we can look at too, I think, is looking at uh, talking about the buyer, the procurement side. Um, as we know, uh, procurement has been really cursed with being price uh, per product or price points, whereas the smart procurement professionals are really looking at innovation, added value, and I can talk further about that as well later. Right. The other area too is about sales and marketing working together now. Oh, yeah. That, that's, I mean, that's becoming more and more important, mm. isn't it? Particularly now that we really have to think about the buying process, the buying mm. journey. Yes. Uh, and both sales and marketing in a sales activity mm. have both got a role to play. That's exactly right. So they've got to get along with each other and actually play nice in the sandpit. So how do you make that happen? Or are you uh, going to talk well, about I'll, that I'll, in a... Yeah, I'll talk about that in more detail okay. in one of our other posts as well. So yeah, I've got some tips and ideas and things we can look at there. Um, another interesting thing is this real shift uh, beyond profit erosion. Um, there seems the, the pendulum seemed to have swung in such a way that everyone is just looking to cut costs and you can't cut your way to growth. So organisations have to really think about how they're going to organise themselves because selling is about growth, selling is about opportunity, not necessarily growing to be bigger but where else can we grow, how can we innovate, how can we you know, look for opportunity there but we just can't do it through cost cutting. And, and we're talking about profitable growth so we really need to look in, in an economy mm. that looks like being flat for even more years mm. than it has been. We, we now need to look at how we get that profitable revenue and the profitable sales in a very competitive marketplace. So that's getting market share, isn't it? Well, it's, it's about also micro-segmentation as well. Mm -hmm. So there will be um, commodity plays out there, but if you actually look within sub-segments of market segments, or micro-segments if, if you call them that, um, you will find that there is profitable work to be had and clients who want to actually work with people to generate value, not just a cheap price. Okay, well, there's, I think, four you've covered out of the 12. Yeah. Just let's refresh on those four. First was? Competitor zero, so indecision. Classic. Second? Uh, the smarter buying, so through yeah. procurement, looking for innovation. Third? Sales and marketing have to play in the sand put together. Alignment. Fourth? It's about profit erosion and stopping that and yes. really moving forward in a really positive way to look for growth and selling better, not just selling more. And you, in this article you wrote, you had 12 in yes, total, so yes. I recommend to the audience go and find Sue Barrett's article on the uh, 12 trends for 2016 in sales Yes. Uh, and good value there. Thank you very much. And I look forward to talking about some of those in more detail yes. on future interviews. Yeah, not a problem at all. And there's, a, there's actually a big 48-page PDF too people can download when they find that link, so they'll be able to get all the details on all the 12 trends. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, John. Appreciate your time. My look forward to the next time.